All right. Um, okay. This is my first tutorial. It's also the first time I'm using this web recording software. So hopefully it's recording like it's supposed to. Okay. Um, this tutorial is going to cover um, creating a prop in Google SketchUp 7 and importing it into MovieStorm. So first thing you want to do is open up Google SketchUp 7. At least that's what I have. It'll also work for 6 and 8 and 22 and whatever version you have. Um, all right, so open up SketchUp and there you go. Okay, um, now the first thing you want to do is choose a template. Now I use meters because MovieStorm uses meters. You can use feet and inches, um, you know, whatever, uh, but that's just the one that I use. So starting SketchUp. Um, wait for it wait for it I have a lot of stuff in my computer as you can see so kind of runs slow sometimes um, and I think it's running slow because of this uh, recording software but okay so it's open there's my dude all right um, going to assume that you have a basic understanding of SketchUp um, so let's see we're just gonna make something simple um, you know uh, here's the um, the rectangle tool. Um, click on the corner point there. Um, pull it out. Let's see, um, you can pull it out uh, down here. You can see where it says, you know, dimensions. Um, you can also, I, you know, type in one comma one. It will give you one meter by one meter square. Um, okay. And then use the uh, push pull tool. Wait till it's all blue dots and click on it, pull it up. Um, you can also, in the distance down there, type in an amount. I'll type in one. So now we got a one meter by one meter by one meter by however six sides it has squared thingy. Okay, there you go. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to take this uh, the draw tool and go to the center, draw a line, go to the center, draw a line, center, draw a line. Center, draw a line. Just keep doing that. Uh, if you click on something you don't want to click on, you can escape. Hit escape to get rid of it. Okay, grab the push, push pull tool again. Go to the center of all of these and go to the middle. And go to the middle. There you go. There you go. Okay, now it is way too wide um, <clears throat> it's like a little shelf thing if you can see that um, it's a little too wide so grab it and push it in uh, type in 0.5 so it pushes it in about halfway um, now we're gonna get rid of the dude because we don't need him bye bye don't want to put him in the movie store Okay, now up here it says window. First thing you want to do, go to model info. Now, um, if if this was really complicated piece, which it's not, it's really simple, uh, or something you brought in from the warehouse, you might want to click these uh, this fix problems because it'll tell you if there's any problems. Um, there aren't any problems with this because it's very simple. Um, okay, purge unused, right down here. We have nine materials. None of those materials are assigned to our model. They're all assigned to the guy that I got rid of. He left, but all his materials stayed behind. You know, kind of like when you, you know, move somebody out of your house and leave all their stuff behind. Let's get rid of all that stuff. So purge unused, all gone. All right. Now, we need to add a material to this. Now, okay, we could just grab like red, and click and click and click if you want to be slow or you can grab the entire thing and grab the red and go up oh, look it's all red but <clears throat> what if we don't want it just one color um okay wait before I go over that now if you wanted to make this tentable in movie storm you would want it white uh, because that way you can make it any color you want from the white if you use red, 
you can make it tenable, but it's still going to have the red. So when you make it green, it's going to be green plus red or blue plus red, which is purple. Um, yeah, so you want to make it white if you want it tenable. Now, um, say we don't want it tenable. We want to use our own texture that we have. Okay, now click on this uh, little thing here. It looks like a crate with a plus in front of it. Create material. Um, all right, brings up this window. Now you click on this little thing, little file thing with an arrow. Browse for material image file. Then you go to, oh wow, I gotta, I gotta clean up my stuff. Anyways, you go to where you have your textures. Um, you know, go in here, let's see, uh, red. Um, I got this right here. Now it's 0.10 by 0.10, which might be a little small. Yeah, it is. So if it's too small or the wrong size, not big enough, click on the edit tab here with your material selected um, and then you can just change it to you know 50 now this one down here is going to become the same number if you need the if you need these to be two different numbers say you want it wider than it is taller or taller than it is wider you just uh, click the little chain there break it and then you can change them to whatever you want and there you go now, um, okay, now say you want, you don't want the whole thing to be this one texture. Um, let's, let's make the uh, shelves here different. So let's, uh, you know, grab our draw tool and click down here, pull it all the way up to the top. And then we're going to want to pull it over there and click and pull it down to there. Now, these are all separate, so you can, uh, you definitely want to click off of that because otherwise you're going to wind up making the whole thing that color and we don't want to do that because we want the texture also. So, that, and then so we can get the bottom and the side, okay, all done. Now, um, okay, that looks kind of funny because it's white. And this, I don't like that. So, uh, you go back in here to the edit. Now you grab this little eyedropper, the first one with the little crate thing, and you click on the other material, and it kind of matches it, you know, as close as it can. Um, now, if you look here, when we move around, look at these white lines. Um, you can get rid of them here, or you can get rid of them in the modders workshop. I'm going to just get rid of them here. So. We're going to use this color to fill in the inside. Um, so let's scroll in here real close and then click on that. Now we're still going to have some bits and pieces. We might. Let's see. Let's check these shelves and make sure. Let's see. Yep. White there. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Undo that. <laughs> Control Z. <laughs> All right. Now let's unselect the whole thing. Let's grab this color again and scroll in here and get that out scroll in again get that out scroll in again and scroll in for the last time all right there we go so there that's all done now we have a this red material that we don't want now you can right click it and delete it or go back up here to the model info and click purge unused. It's only going to take away the materials that you're not using. Um, all right, I think that that is everything we need to do before we save. Now go up to file, save as. Okay, um, you definitely want to have a folder to put this in. Um, Okay, I have a SketchUp right there, SketchUp files. Um, I made a tutorial folder earlier, right there. Um, as you can see, I already made one once, but we're gonna go ahead and save over that. Now you wanna make sure that, um, you click on that so it's got the same name. Uh, type your name in here. Um, and then 
select SketchUp version 6. Movie Storm will only import with the wizard the SketchUp 6. If you try 5, if you try 7, if you try 8, it's either going to close or it's going to freeze. So just remember SketchUp 6 and save it. And yes, because you know you want to override that. All right, and then we exit out of here, and we're going to open up the modders workshop. Um, or well, hold on, we're going to exit out of here. But what you want to do is you want to, if you haven't yet, go to your add-on in uh, Movie Storm um, add-on folder and create a new, you know, file new folder. I've already created one. Uh, I think I did. Didn't I create one? Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> um, all right, right there. So, uh, yeah. So that's what that's what you do, and then you go back and you down, down, down. Come on, you can do it. Um, there we go, and. And wait for it to open, and then, and then after it does this, to record the little wait to become a start, and wait. Oh look, and then modders workshop. All right, and then I'm gonna pause this and pick it back up after the modders workshop opens because it's gonna take a while on the computer. <laughs> so.